we have Carla Cosin and her fiance, Corey Pinkerton. Wow, hope that's not gonna be the first dance at their wedding. Hey now, clean it up, kids. The third member of our team is Jill Wagner, and she chatted with these lovebirds just moments ago. How long did you guys date before you got engaged? A year and a half. Yeah, yeah a almost, a, half. almost a year and a half to the day. How old are you? 21. You're 21, how old are you? 35. How long have you been 35, Corey? Okay, a little bit of an age difference. Okay, but hey, that is not gonna hold us back. They better, like, watch out. Age is just a number, on. right? Exactly. And in Corey's case, age is a number that, when added to another number, equals his real age. Carla docked into one of our love boats. Just sit back and set sail on the maiden voyage. Whoa! Whoa. Ride to be overboard. Swim, babe, swim! Ah, wise beyond his advancing years. Carla loves it. She loves it not. She loves it. Boo! We love it, and that's all that counts. Go, honey, go! Carla's ashore, so now her fiance can go. <laughs> Corey cruising in one of those traditional wedding sneakers. More comfy than the tuxedo shoes. Go! go. Spoke too oh. soon. <laughs> She got that advice from her dad. I mean, fiance. A simple tag will do, but chest bumps even better. Carla moving on. We gather here today to watch this jump. Oh! oh. 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 Now kiss the big red ball. Honey, what happened? Memory failing you? See, your bride to be bounced every which way but over. My baby! 35-year-old Corey. Yeah, right. Creaking along. Oh, and I guess he'll just sit this one out. Corey puts his feet up like he's on a recliner watching a wheel. Carly can now advance to the spring fling. Gonna hop from that green ball onto the swing. Oh, mm -hmm. spring fling hitting on 21. Oh. Carla having a May-December romance for that platform. Oh. Corey summoned by his bride-to-be siren call. Oh. Oh. Same bounce, same result. Corey aged a few years on that hit. That would make him... 35. Yup, the answer will always be 35. Carla and Corey ready to taste their wedding cake. First, it's a hop through the icing. Next, a choice of delicious strawberry or lemon filling. Then over the diamond ring and wedding band and onto the finish platform. Now, you wipe out and it's a cold and lonely swim to this other spot. The clock will stop when both fiancés reunite. Carla diving in. I might have tasted it first, but it's your wedding cake. Ooh, not very nice. A little bit of strawberry cake for you. Ooh, the lemon has quite a kick, too. Johnny, did you remember to bring the rings? Got them. There you go, Carla, eyeing that diamond. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Ah, we're best friend of me. Go over, babe. Rice comes flying in. Oh, Carla goes flying back, gets up, moving forward like she hears a wedding march. Oh, she is determined to get to the altar. Oh, holy objection. Oh, that sounded like it hurt. You think? Looks like for a special day, Carla chose the lemon up the nose, upside down contestant cake, and we helped her wash it all down. Carla stepping out onto the finishing spot. Block won't stop until Corey has made it. Get that ring! Bring it home to me! Two kids in love, Johnny. Now one kid and a grown man in short pants. Nice job, babe! Corey giving it all for his soulmate. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Young man in the sea. That wedding man doling out a harsher reality than Corey's driver's license. Too much cake. Way too much cake. And that's the story of how Carla and Corey fell in love all over again on Wipeout.